All right, yeah, I heard you were uh, very fired up, especially during the third set when you guys were kind of just rallying up and keeping the points up high. Uh, how was the game from your perspective? We were just trying to get better each set, each ball, each play. So for us, last night we had a tough battle. We we came back from uh, from two losses, and we went into the break and really decided how we wanted to come out and how we wanted to play in this tournament. And uh, we started off slow and battled to get the win last night. And we knew coming in today, Bakersfield's a very good team, and uh, we took them with the same amount of respect as we take every other opponent. So we knew that going into the third set, they were going to come just as fired up. So we needed to up the ante a little bit more and, and be really disciplined on defense. Go ahead and walk me through, like, how, what was the difference between what you guys talked about during halftime when you were down two sets yesterday and when you were up two sets today? It was just playing our game, you know, really looking on the other side of the net and seeing what was coming at us. Um, we were too focused kind of on our side instead of just looking at the opponent, seeing uh, seeing the play happen and just playing good volleyball and being disciplined and go seeing it. So that's the, the difference we made yesterday. From your standpoint, how has the team taken the uh, the roster change, uh, starting at the Abre at Libero and moving to Christina Lee to center? We, uh, we trust each other across the board. Uh, it doesn't matter who's on the court, who's off the court. We know that the person next to us is going to fight uh, just as hard as we are. So it really hasn't uh, hasn't affected us too well, as you can see. You know, there's little changes, but it's still six on six volleyball. It's still the Bulldogs, and we're still we're still having our vision in mind. All right. Um, preparation for Oregon. Uh, this game definitely. Uh, you guys came out came out the game, came out really uh, playing hard. Uh, against Oregon um, after yesterday's three set victory over Belmont um, or season biggest I think. Um, are you guys going to be preparing yourselves even more for that? Not even more. We take the opponent just the same. We treat him with the same amount of respect. Uh, really with our serving and passing is how we're going to uh, go after him. We knew Bakersfield uh, battled him well last night. So when we go out against Oregon today, we're going to take a look at the scout. Um, and uh, really with serving and passing, I think if we can get them out of system, we have a, a very a very good chance of uh, winning. But it's going to be a battle. That's a, they're a very good team, and so are we. So we'll see. I mean, Christina, for decision-making, seems to be so, I mean, as far as veteran, for, you know, she's a, her second match as a setter here this year. I mean, she had a chance to get beaten on Macy there and early there in the second mm -hmm. set. Then when Holly lost in the third set, and the, the first set for Macy, second set for Holly. Yeah. You get some key kills all throughout the match there. How nice is it for you to have someone who can basically just throw the ball in any direction at any time? Yeah, we have confidence in her and she has confidence in us. So it really, it plays out well, you know. She she can give the ball to anyone and she knows she uh, will get the job done. And we know that if we can just get her uh, some passes and some good digs, she's going to do a great job. She's a, she's a leader and uh, she's grown up and, and uh, made huge strides since she was a freshman and like we all do. So. Uh, yeah, it really wasn't much of a change. She, she's a great little player. Of course, Maggie had a few more aces today. Here, how's she doing for the service line? She's doing well. You know, we really are putting our emphasis in serving and passing. We're we're a very good offensive team, and if we can get our passes for our middles up there, it's it's a really hard offense to stop. So Maggie's been really honing in on her serving and passing, and uh, she's doing a great job. It seems like the team was doing pretty well as far as the little things like covering the blocks, you know, and other things like that and taking on those out-of-system plays and making something out of them. Is that something that shows like how you guys have come together so quickly here this past week? Yeah, coaching staff has really been talking to us about just being disciplined and talking about the little things because it's just that one time if you're not being disciplined that you're going to get caught off guard. So we've really been uh, working on our conversations throughout the play, uh, verbalizing what we see, and that's been helping a lot. Good. All right. Good luck tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it.